<laughs> also, the name of this quest is Honda's Accord, and that is hilarious, and turned this guardian against us. All of the clan ninjas have returned from their missions to protect the village. But I do not think it will make a difference, even with the combined power of the clan, we will not be able to stop him. Honda will only fall to the might of a dragon lord. You and Interceptor must stop him. And so, I don't exactly know how reliable of a success rate I'll have with my dragon. As of right now, since I don't have all of my skills decked out. Oh, okay. Oh, I got him with stun anyway, that's good. And he has a lot more HP than me. I'll try this once, and if I don't win, well, we'll just move on to the next thing. That was probably a bit unnecessary. Especially since stun was up next. Oh, I got poisoned? Really? Poison? Poison? Seriously? Poison? Ouch. We'll use that one more time since... At least I'll dodge for the next two attacks. Oh, I'm almost out of mana. He's almost even with our HP, though. Oh, we pulled ahead. This is good. Ouch. We'll hold off on that and just smash again. No, we won't. Smash is a 1200 point or 1200 mana move. I'm just hoping this. Oh, snap! 1245. That was good. Ow. Ow, poison again? I think we've got this. Assuming that nothing silly happens to me. Like a critical hit. All right, victory. The shadow of the wind village has been saved. You and your dragon are, were more than a match for the iron-fisted giant. You have saved the village twice in one day. That's gotta be a record. Miasma, staff requires a dragon amulet. I'm gonna go and sell that real quick. Re-equip my weapon. No, I'm not. Now we've just got one more. Confronting Sepulchre. I have a mission for you. The creatures of the woods have started running for their lives. A mysterious dark energy on one of the mountains to the south seems to be the source of their terror. I want you to investigate this energy. Go. He made Fluffy gigantic. Fly, my pet. It is time that we've met this hero. Like a rat to cheese, you're so predictable. Sepulcher, it's about time that you came out of hiding and faced me. Hiding? <laughs> this fool thinks you've been hiding in the shadows. Don't flatter yourself, I've just too been too busy to bother with you. Well, you're not too busy now. Did someone cancel an, an appointment on you? Ha, <laughs> you're funny. No one told me that. No, I'm still a very busy man, but when you recaptured the wind orb from my servant Dracketh, I was forced to start considering you a nuisance. Like an insect in my food. An insect to be crushed. So I'm starting to bug you. <laughs> Get it? Bug you. <laughs> 
throwing puns at a man who literally brings the nighttime with him wherever he walks, apparently. I can respect it. Ha ha ha. No, he's less amused than his sword is. What, you're right, the hero is funny. Why do you want the orb? I've seen what some of your undead army can do. You've got all the power any human could ever want. You're right, but I'm not exactly human anymore. And my master is nothing like human. Once we've united all of the elemental orb... All of the elemental orbs, no power on lore or any other world will be able to stop our plans. We have already broken the prophecy. You are of no threat to us anymore. The prophecy is broken. Celestia has told the hero nothing. Ha ha ha. There was a prophecy which said that there would be born two dragons. One would save the world and the other would destroy it. We were concerned when you hatched the dragon from the black dragon box. The prophecy said that this dragon was the one to destroy the world. I was able to hatch the savior dragon from the white dragon box. Once Fluffy has been had been corrupted by darkness, the dragon who was meant to save the world became another servant in my undead army. At that point, the prophecy was broken. There is no dragon left to save the world, only Interceptor to destroy it and Fluffy to help. Ha ha ha. Interceptor, that's impossible. As long as he and I are together, then we will do everything in our power to save Lore from you and your kind. It's our destiny to defeat you, prophecy or no prophecy. Believe what you like, my master set all these events in motion when mankind was still crawling in caves hiding from the sun. You were a tiny part in the master's plan, and you have played your part. With the prophecy broken, you're just an irritant to be swept aside. We'll see about that. The wind orb stays on this island as long as I stand in your way. Don't be in, in such a rush to die. Ha ha ha. I have no interest in, in I have no interest in fighting you. It would just bore me. So just step aside. I've beaten every flunky that you've thrown at me so far, Sepulcher, and I'll beat you too. It's true you've proven more powerful than I suspected. But fighting me is suicide. I'm out of your league. It's he does not look like anything we've fought thus far. Even Dracoth, who has been a persistent thorn in our side as of now, just looking at him, looks like a common jabroni. Sepulcher, on the other hand, looks dangerous. <laughs> I'd rather wait until you've developed your skills. At least then it would be an interesting fight. Last chance, run or die. Alright, summon dragon. Very well, let's begin. You know, for whatever reason, I always thought that the hair back here, because you get a couple shots of him from the front like this, from time to time, or... I always thought it was like plumage or something on his helmet. It's actually his hair. I don't know why I thought it... I always thought his hair was a different color. Oh my god. That is so much HP. That is a silly amount of HP. Oh, but I did manage to stun him. Look at me go. Where is resistances? Oh snap, you can't even like... You wouldn't even be able to... Exploit like a holy element for... Ouch. Because you'd think that since it's a giant skeleton... He just healed for his entire life bar. And I didn't even do nearly that much damage to him. Ow. Anyway, yeah, that was another scripted boss. In case you couldn't tell. Huh, <laughs> I gave you fair warning. You were not ready for me, not prepared to pay the price. Not this time, Sepulcher. We have work to do, and so does the hero. The master commands it. Hunter lives this day. No, I will not give this creed in mercy. We will destroy him now. Sepulcher, it sounds like you want to disobey your master. It sounds like you want to disobey me. <laughs> no, I obey. It looks like you have another chance, Hunter. Make the next battle more interesting for me. 
<laughs> Oof, yikes, he mopped the floor with us. Who could have imagined Sepulcher and his dragon would hold such power? You narrowly escaped with your life, but at least now you had a taste of the battles to come. How will you prepare for your next encounter? Oh, I got a dragon helm? That's sweet. What does it look like? I wanna know. Oh, that looks kinda cool. Anyway. Alright, so that wraps up the Shadow of the Wind saga that we've got going here. I suppose I'll walk around for a little bit and explain what I plan on doing next. First of all, as far as mainline quests go, for some reason they spl the Wind Orb has two possible paths you can go down, and the other one is the Pirates. Now, I'm definitely not going to do this right off the bat, I might do it after doing several more quest chains, but and that's because basically it's the same things happen down to, I believe, you're chasing Dracoth. This is a boat quest, like the run of the Kessel. You're running through the ruins of Cordana again. Uh, I think the one that might be different is the box of ninjas there. And then from there on, with the exception of the giant monster is different. And, it, oh, I know you're chasing Dracoth down through those. You might have a different... You might have a different character standing in for Okami, too, but they're basically serving the same purpose. So doing this back-to-back -back, I don't think would be very entertaining as far as videos go. I think usually when I play, I do play them back-to-back -back just because, to get them out of the way. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do is alternate between doing one of these major wind orb sagas here and uh, doing something from the other story lines over here, like any of this stuff. Like, I think I'm going to go back to trying to do Warlick's quests next, since I believe I tried that and got totally thrashed by the one. I think off screen, while I was in, oh no, while I was in the process of trying to uh, train my dragon, and while I thought that I still had all of the wind stuff on, you know, video files that weren't corrupted or whatever, I was, you know, training my dragon and trying to see what was up with that. So I went back to test to see if I could beat this quest yet. Because yeah, River of Fire was the one that ruined me. And then I went on to make sure I could do the next couple, I think. Either that, or I could just skip to doing any of these, I don't know. That's not the point, though. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of those next. I might also start doing another game between now and when I come back to this. And I'll probably, in that case, alternate between, like, a Dragon Fable quest chain. Other game. Dragon Fable quest chain. Other game. Basically, I'll be using this game as, like, a stopgap between deciding what games I want to let's play in between each other, or what, yeah, between deciding what games I want to let's play in the interim. This will be what I do, since there is a lot of stuff to get through, and I could use this as a stopgap successfully forever if I wanted to. Anyway, hopefully this all goes well. I'll be a little disappointed if this turns out to be another bum recording. <laughs> Ugh. That'd be a little upsetting, but thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.